Hello all, this is Scott Moore, I'm one of the Senior Technical Account Managers supporting Hewlett Packard Enterprise within Ingram Micro. Today I'm going to be reviewing the NVIDIA and other GPU options available on HPE servers, their positioning in supporting virtual compute, high performance compute or HPC, and artificial intelligence or AI. I'll quickly go over some of the compute platforms HP offers as well that are positioned in the artificial intelligence space and some of the software products that they offer for use in AI as well. I'm gonna start by reviewing a few definitions related to AI and GPU use in general, followed by a review of some of NVIDIA's GPU offerings. I'll briefly touch upon the other GPU products offered by HPE, as well as mention the applications that they're positioned for. Then we'll review the full NVIDIA GPU line with positioning and relative performance levels per application. Finally, as I mentioned before, I'll quickly review the HP server platforms position for AI and HPE's software solutions for AI. I want to start by establishing a foundation with some definitions that I'll refer to throughout the rest of the presentation. When we refer to training in reference to AI, it's the process of instructing an AI to perceive, interpret, and learn from existing data. For example, to learn what a face looks like. Machine learning in AI is a field of artificial intelligence devoted to training on data to improve a computer's performance on specific tasks. For example, going off the previous example, look at a bunch of human faces with the intent of getting an idea of what patterns to look for in trying to identify an image that could be considered a face. Inference in AI is applying logical rules to a knowledge base to evaluate and analyze new data. For example, to recognize a face when it moves past a camera. Analytics is drawing information from the analysis of raw data and or statistics. Edge computing is processing data at the edge of the network where it's generated rather than at a data center within the data center. For example, pre-processing on computer images captured by security cameras to remove useless data before it's sent on to the data center for storage or processing. Transcoding is conversion from one type of coded representation to another. For example, changing the format of a recorded video. And finally, VRAN. VRAN stands for Virtual Radio Area Network, where cellular base station functions are run in virtual machine software. The Ampere line of GPUs from NVIDIA are the current standard family of GPUs. The Ampere GPUs all start with the letter A and cover an assortment of use cases as seen here. Typically, the A30 and above are used in compute intensive applications, such as high performance computing and artificial intelligence. Lower numbers or lower models, such as the A6, the A10, and the A2, are positioned for use in virtual desktops or virtual workstations. The exception here is the A40, which is intended to be a high-end option for supporting virtual workstation graphics. Previous to the Ampere family of products was the Tesla series represented here by the T4, which is an entry-level GPU that's still available for entry-level graphics applications, such as VDI. For customers who utilized the older M, T, V, or RTX GPU cards from NVIDIA, this chart shows the new recommended GPUs to transition to among the Ampere A-Series and the new Grace Hopper H100 GPUs. For new deployments, the rightmost column gives the suggested applications for each of the Ampere or H100 GPUs. NVIDIA had planned to discontinue the Tesla T4 GPU a while back, but as the demand rain remained pretty strong, they decided to keep it around for a bit longer. Depending on the application, there are other options. Uh, and these are the other recommendations for GPUs in the Ampere family. Other useful information on this chart includes the memory per GPU, as well as the number of encoders and decoders, showing why the A16, for example, is the preferred GPU for maximum virtual desktops. 
for the new Gen 11 ProLiant servers from HPE, the new L4, L40, and H100 GPUs are offered for application environments where the Ampere GPUs were typically used on the Gen 10 and Gen 10 Plus servers. This chart gives you an idea of what new GPUs to recommend based on the previous Ampere GPU used and or the application it's intended to support. This slide is a quick reference as to what A, L, and H series GPUs are supported in what new ProLiant Gen 11 servers. Keep in mind, it's possible that additional GPUs will be qualified in the future and added to the support list for each of these servers. Here we have a quick reference on what expansion modules and recommended GPUs are suggested for use with the Gen 10 plus Synergy 480 compute nodes. Uh, note that the Gen 11 Synergy blades do not currently have GPU options. Beyond NVIDIA, HPE does offer GPUs from other vendors, such as the AMD Instinct MI line of GPUs for high performance computing and artificial intelligence, the Intel Arctic Sound and Ponte Vecchio GPUs, also for high performance computing and artificial intelligence, the Qualcomm 100 series, which are aimed at VRAN use, and the Xilinx Alivo U series for database analytics and artificial intelligence training and inference. Finally, in reference to GPUs, this chart provides positioning as well as relative positioning between the NVIDIA GPUs of the various T, A, L, and H families and the various applications they're optimized to support. The dark green circles represent the best performance, the light green circles represent entry-level GPUs for a specific application. And the medium green is generally the mainstream solution for each specific application, the applications being listed across the top with the far left column uh, listing the names of the GPUs. Switching gears a little bit, let's look at the other side of computing AI and talk about the servers as opposed to the GPUs we've been focused on. Although any server can be used for AI, there are several HPE families that are recommended for certain AI applications based on the features included in the hardware. The Apollo 6500 with its support for up to 12 GPUs, the perfect platform for AI training. The Superdome Flex and Superdome Flex 280 servers supporting up to 32 or eight CPUs respectively can hold several GPUs per node and a mass amount of memory, making them perfect for modeling, simulations and analytics. The ProLiant DL380, DL385, and DL380A are HPE standard general workhorse servers. For low-end training and inference, these servers can be excellent solutions to support up to six single-wide or three dual-wide GPUs per system, with the DL380A supporting up to four dual-wide GPUs. The Apollo 2000, the dual XL190R blades installed, is a two new, a two, sorry, two node server solution, perfect for light training and edge inference. The edge line EL8000 on the right is similarly positioned for processing at the edge of the network, specifically in harsh or rugged environments, think factory floor, point of sale, things like that. And it can be utilized for real-time training and inference at the edge of the network. This list is by no means complete. As I mentioned before, any server could really be used for AI depending on the size and the scope of the project. This slide, however, can serve as a good starting point when trying to select an appropriate solution. HP also offers the pre-configured inference solution on ProLiance, which is a 42U rack containing six ProLiance servers, three DL360 Gen 10s, three DL380 Gen 10s. All the network connectivity, the installation and deployment services, and Red Hat OpenShift software, specifically configured to be an inference solution for your AI needs. Finally, HP is known for their hardware, but not so much for their software. These applications offered through HPE are specifically designed for use in artificial intelligence. 
They're included here purely as a reference for those that may have customers in the AI space that may be looking for a solution addressed by these products. Blue Data Epic is a platform for resource management and orchestration in support of AI, big data, or machine learning solutions. Bright Cluster Manager is for deploying and managing bare metal clusters for high performance compute. Esmeralda Data Fabric manages distributed data stores for files and objects and provides resiliency, redundancy, and replication. Esmeralda Machine Learning Ops gives developers the ability to build and train machine learning models. Swarm Learning provides decentralized, privacy preserving machine learning at the edge of your network without sharing raw data between locations. And Vertica offers unified analytics, machine learning, and a data warehousing solution. That brings us to the end of the presentation. I hope you found some of that information useful. If you have any questions on AI solutions through HPE, reach out to your SDNS team member uh, or your Ingram Micro Sales Rep, and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Thank you much for your time today.